I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me, you all. So today's another Friday Sews where I get to tell you all about what I've been working on, what's coming up, and of course, a little bit about life. Friday Sews was made by Jen. It's the brainchild of Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room. And as always, you can find her details down in that description box right down there, along with anything and anyone else that I mentioned today. So with all of that being said, let's just kind of like jump right into it because I've got a lot to tell you. I really do. And I've got a really fun tester call to tell you about as well. So what I've worked on this week. Well, I made my son a little pair of cargo shorts, you all. And these came out so cute. He's graduating from preschool. And I just wanted to make him something special and something that I knew that he would love. So I ran over to Joanne Fabrics and I picked up this really fun Pokemon fabric. And it has all of his favorite characters on it. I just knew he was going to like this. Um, the pattern that I used for this is this one right here. It's McCall's. 73.79 and actually it's a pretty good pattern I've used it for him before and they're probably some of his most worn pants and shorts actually so I did make this view here which is view D with the cargo little pockets on the side I did not include a little tie up here it has an elasticated waist a faux fly which totally messed up <laughs> I did I messed up the fight see this is what happens when I'm sewing just way past my bedtime I just knew this fly was supposed to look like this but no this little like flappy thing that I had sewn down was supposed to be on the inside so you don't necessarily see that little bit it's okay the husband didn't even notice lucky for me i have a second pair of pants actually <laughs> already cut out and halfway sewn up so i'll definitely be more mindful of that detail soon like coming up soon <laughs> i'm excited that i finished these little shorts because i really did want to support adam over at adam sews um, and his challenge, which is he made June 22. I have to be careful with that one because I always want to say he man June 22. But it's he made. <laughs> so he's running this challenge with the One Lisa Show. Both of them are over here on YouTube and on Instagram. It ends on the 30th. That's when they're actually hoping for everyone to post their pictures. And the idea is to make garments for men they want to kind of bring some visibility to the lack of the number of garments and patterns that are actually available to men which let me tell you it could be a little tricky finding some cute boy patterns um i i still struggle every now and then trying to find some really unique woven patterns for my son when it comes to knit patterns, I feel like Lolan Kids is a pretty good choice. And there's some other people that do some really good knit patterns. But what man, when it comes to the wovens, it tends to be a real issue. But I think my son's going to like this. Let's put them on him and see what he says. Do you like your shorts? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What do you like about them? Oh, uh, cheese. Cheese? Huh? What's on your shorts? Squirtle and Pikachu and who else? And uh, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Uh, Who's that? Who? The brown one. Uh, Evie. Oh, that's Evie. And you got pockets. Oh. I, Is it uh, comfy? I'll just play some mouse. I'll just play some mouse. Oh, you don't want to be here? Okay. Bye bye. Well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> He's going to love the pants that I make him. Actually, 
They're already cut out with little back pockets on them already. He's going to wear these and he's going to like them. Moving on to what else I've been working on this week. So you all, if you don't know, I've been making a ton of leather pin cushions. I've been making both the Voodoo Doll pin cushions as well as the Pac-Man ghost ones. And let me tell you, for some reason, the pink Pac-Man ghosts here are extremely popular. <laughs> Other colors are available, not just pink, but if you see me posting a lot of pink, it's because I'm making a lot of pink. But they're really fun to sew up. Now let's talk about my sewing plans coming up. So I've got a bunch of things on my mind. I still need to make a swimsuit. And I honestly think that that's going to get pushed into the first week of August um, because I need it. Wait, August? No, July. <laughs> July, you all, July. Because I really actually need it because I'm going on vacation to Myrtle Beach in July. So that's going to be the first week of July. But more pressing than the swimsuit is my son's pre-K graduation that's coming up next week. Um, so I did make these shorts for him to wear. I'm also going to make the pants, see which ones I like better. But I've also decided that I'm gonna make both of these tops, both this little raglan one with the short sleeves, as well as this tank top. Um, I haven't really tried the tank patterns, well, the top patterns on this, pattern. So that's what I'm going to make. Um, I actually have them all cut out in both yellow and blue. And then I decided that I wanted to try my hand at like making my own applique. So I did cut out some of the little figures from the fabric to see if I can place them anywhere, you know, stitch over them. It might be a total disaster. It might be super cute. You're going to find out either way. One of the reasons why I chose this pattern, like these tops, or specifically this raglan t-shirt for my son to go with those Pokemon shorts is because, well, so Joey is running her own challenge. So she's doing her t-shirt challenge again. It's called T-Shirt for Summer 2022. Now, if you make up a T-shirt, you can enter into her challenge. If you use recycled or upcycled fabrics, you get extra points. And so there's all these extra things or extra entries that you can get for making just one T-shirt. And you all, these things come together pretty quickly. So there's still time to make yours too. Catch her in the box below. And then the other really big thing that I have on my plate and that I could actually use some help from, from some of you, are um, my sewing kits for my leather pin cushions. So I've decided that I want to start offering people the opportunity to purchase their own sewing kits, um, whether it's the Voodoo Doll or the Pac-Man Ghost. And... I'll provide everything, needles, all of that good stuff, and all they have to do is sew it up. And I'm at the point now where I'm writing instructions, and I'm going to film the video, t video tutorial, but I could really use some testers who would be willing to sew up one of the kits, look at the instructions, the video, and give me some really good feedback on all of that. Let me know if you were able to follow it, if things need to be changed. And then, of course, your overall experience, because I do want it to be a really fun experience. So if you're interested in becoming a tester, send me an email to inspiredleather at gmail.co. And it's also going to be in the description box below. And just let me know your name, if you have a preference on the type of kit you'd like to sew up, whether it's the Voodoo Doll or the Pac-Man Ghost, or if you have no preference. And I'll gather testers from those emails. Um, I don't need very many testers. However, if you don't get chosen, I'll be happy to add you to my tester email group. So that way, the next time I have something to push out and test, I'll be sure to reach out to you all. 
<laughs> well, thank you for joining me for Friday Sews. If you enjoyed this episode, check out my last Friday Sews right over here. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.